There's a buzz in the food industry about new emerging technologies related to biofilms. And I've done an earlier interview on this topic with an EH company member that is developing a new type of biofilm sensor. And today I am talking to a representative of a collaborative research project between the University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences in Vienna, in short, BOKU, and the Fraunhofer Institute for Process Engineering and Packaging in Dresden. With us is Dr. Elena Sand. Thank you for joining us today. I'm very glad um, to have the possibility to talk about our um, recent project on biofilms. And yeah, very happy to be here. All right, let's do it the scientific way by first defining what we're talking about. Can you give us a... Um, scientifically correct definition of what a biofilm actually is. So a biofilm is actually an aggregation of uh, different microorganisms or especially also like different bacteria um, that are like growing on a surface. And in this, uh, in this form, in this aggregation, uh, the biofilm is way more resistant against external forces uh, like against chemicals, mechanical or also physical forces compared to the planktonic form. So compared to single floating um, bacteria within the production line. The name of your research project, Biomitate, refers to your aim to develop a artificial biofilm for rapid cleaning control in the food industry. Why would the food industry need to have a, an artificial biofilm to do that? The overall aim is to efficiently remove uh, the biofilm, uh, the native, the real biofilm. However, it is clearly not possible to introduce a native biofilm within the production process for testing different cleaning strategies. So if we would do this, um, we would contaminate the production line. And of course, we don't want that. Um, so one option to efficiently test cleaning strategies is to use artificial biofilms or rather biofilm imitates without microorganisms. How does biofilm formation relate to the area that EH focuses on ultimately, and that is, of course, hygienic design? It's not only the hygienic design, it's also the cleaning, the cleaning strategy. So it really depends on what chemicals we are using. And then it also depends on kind of the routine, um, how often are we cleaning or how often are the, the pipelines cleaned within the food industry and um, what kind of concentrations of the chemical is used. So there are actually many different factors that are affecting um, yeah, the, the hygiene. And with this, if the, if the biofilm uh, can be removed or not. Or not, indeed. That's what we want to find out. Ultimately, we want to know if there are areas in the food processing line where biofilms can develop and uh, to find out if these areas are cleanable, even if biofilms already developed there, that's where your biofilm imitate comes into play, right? Uh, what does this mean, uh, ultimately, from a technical uh, viewpoint? How are you managing to create a imitation of a basically biological structure here. So the goal in our project is to develop a biofilm imitate that has the same cleaning relevant properties as the native biofilm. But this imitate is microorganism free. So what we try here is um, to use other components um, also, for example, other polysaccharides that are also present in the native biofilm. And um, besides um, the polysaccharides, we are also adding um, different salts, for example, like uh, calcium, magnesium, potassium chloride um, to get a chilling effect of this imitate. And then we characterize the imitate and compare these characteristics to the native biofilm to make sure that the cleaning relevant properties are comparable. What is the current stage that you're in, in this research and development project? So uh, currently uh, we are characterizing the developed biofilm imitate models. So the artificial biofilms 
and compare their cleaning relevant characteristics to the native biofilm. And here um, at the University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences, we focus on characterizing um, the rheological behavior of the biofilm imitates on the physical chemical properties like the wettability and the surface free energy, but also on the addition of the imitates on different surfaces and also on their mechanical stability. And at the same time, our research partner, the Fraunhofer Institute of Process Engineering and Packaging, um, they focus on different methods to apply the biofilm imitate to such a substrate, like, for example, to a stainless steel substrate. And this is essential because um, the native biofilm grows on a surface. But it is currently still a challenge to reproducibly apply the microorganism-free imitate to such a substrate. So therefore, it is a basic requirement um, to be able to compare the imitate to the native biofilm in cleaning tests. I'm sure that our viewers want to know one thing. Uh, when can they expect to be able to use the first artificial biofilms for their cleaning testing? Well, it's always it's always difficult for us to to estimate a timeline uh, when the the imitate, of course, will be um, on the market for sale. I mean, we already have uh, biofilm imitates, so <laughs> someone could, of course, test them. They are already available, but we are at the moment we are working in kind of a feedback loop. Uh, with Fraunhofer Dresden, so they are then testing um, the developed biofilm imitates for the cleaning trials. And if they see um, that some characteristics of the imitate are not uh, working yet or not or are not uh, realistic enough, let's put it like this, then um, we will kind of optimize and adjust uh, the imitate, and then they will test it again. So that's where we are. Or that's the work we are doing uh, currently. Dr. Elena Sand, researcher at the University of Natural Resources and Applied Life Sciences in Vienna. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you very much, uh, Rob, for, for inviting me. And uh, also, um, I'm very glad to have the opportunity now to, to talk about um, our current project, um, Biomitate, and in general, I'm also very glad to talk about my passion, biofilms. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.